On January the 23rd, the Jefferson Market Library on the Avenues of the Americas in New York recently hosted a book reading and signing of Foreign Gods, Inc. This is the third book but second novel by Nigerian author and professor Okain Dibe. Professor Ndibe also authored Arrows of Rain and co-edited Writers Writing on Conflicts and Wars in Africa with his counterpart Zimbabwean author Chenjirai Hove. Professor Ndibe explained about the book. This is simply an immigrant story, uh, the story of an immigrant uh, who is in this country and has had a terrific education at um, a very prestigious liberal arts uh, college but is unable to get a job because of his uh, accent? very strong accent. Right. Um, so he he's stuck as a cab driver, which is a very legitimate way, very honorable and honest way to earn a living, except in a case where you're not happy to earn a living that way, is the case with my protagonist. And he also read two excerpts from it. He'd apply for a job at two banks, but when he phoned one bank's human resources department, a female employee called back and left a terse message on his voicemail. Sir, the woman said, Bayback does not interview aliens unless they produce evidence of authorization to work in the U.S. Later that day, Ike went to visit Harrison Amadu, a Nigerian acquaintance who lived in Springfield, Massachusetts. Harrison was a cab driver but also knew his way around immigration problems faced by Africans. He took questions from the audience who included the Nigerian Consul General, Honorable Habib Habu, and others. The way he spoke Igbo language was so mesmerizing as you... Yes. Uh, mesmerizing is the word, yes. yes. But my, my problem now is the Igbo language as a language being one of the richest language in terms of vocabulary and in terms of almost everything you can touch on a language, mm -hmm. it's gradually dying mm -hmm. because the children now don't speak the language. Yes. What, what, what will happen? Mm -hmm. Because the, your whole novel, it's interwoven with that language. Mm -hmm. So now in the next 50 years, when you don't have anybody that can <coughs> break the OG, because the OG does not understand English, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> what, what will happen to all this rich yeah. Yeah. culture yeah. and uh, knowledge yes. that is being lost? Yes. The very act of writing, uh, the fact that I'm writing fiction uh, in a lot of ways is a gesture of um, of, of honor to Chinua Achebe, uh, but also to so many other African writers who formed me. Um, I was, I fell in love with African uh, literature even when I was in primary school. The evening ended with a book signing. Fungai Maboreke Sahara TV.